Welcome to the video tutorial on accessing the Junior Achievement Digital Platform. Your first step will be to go to https colon backslash backslash learn.ja.org. Once you're here, your screen will look like mine. To log in, what you need to do is your username is going to be your email that Junior Achievement has on file for you. And your password is one that you create yourself. We do not have access to your passwords. If you need to set up your password or you need to, if you've forgotten it from prior years, um, please click the forgot password button down below. From here, you're just gonna click log in. If you are a volunteer and you are teaching one class, you actually are going to be taken right into your class's materials. Um, I'm staff, so it doesn't quite look like that, but I will show you. Let's say I am teaching kindergarten and that's the only class I'm teaching. Your, when you log in, your screen will look just like this. So you are in your program already and all you have to do is select the lesson that you are going to be teaching. So let's say it's my first visit to the classroom. I'm going to click on session one. If you are a volunteer who is teaching multiple classes that have the digital element, you will be able to um, access all of that a couple ways. So when you log in, you will see kind of a home page, much like what mine looks like, and you will see two screens if you're teaching two classes or three or so on, based on how many classes you are teaching. You will have to make sure that you are clicking on the right program before you go into teach. You can toggle your programs here just by scrolling down. You can see what's available to you. You are also able to pin, if you're teaching a lot of classes, you can pin them um, to this, the top, or you can use this waffle button up above to toggle between your classes at any point when you're in this website. So once you are in your class, whether you've just logged in and your class is brought up for you, or you had to click on it if you're teaching multiple classes, all you have to do to access your program is click on the session. If you click on the incorrect one, that's okay too. There's a way to navigate um, that as well from here. Let's say I clicked on session one, but I really want to teach session two. Over on the left-hand side, I can just scroll and I can see my materials, my on-screen presentation for session two. To get your presentation up on the screen, you just need to click on the correct session, click on on-screen presentation, and from here, you need to make it full screen. Sometimes it takes a second to load. Once you get it to load, what you're going to do is you're gonna click this button over here on the right-hand side where my mouse is to make the uh, presentation full screen. To navigate through this presentation when you're in the classroom, there's a couple different things you can do. You can either use the arrows. Um, for a lot of our programs, they're purple, but for other programs, it might just look like a uh, next and forward at the bottom. So I can use those. And then I can also use this at the bottom if I wanted to skip back or forward to a specific slide um, to maybe answer a question about it or recover something on it. I can use the button at the bottom to toggle between all of the slides in the presentation. When I'm done, or if I need to get out, all you need to do to exit full screen is click on the button at the top middle of the um, presentation, or you can hit the escape key. Both work just fine. Now, if you're teaching a course that looks a little bit different, they don't have the purple arrows, um, I can show you what that looks like as well. For instance, this would be our middle, one of our middle school programs. The buttons look just a little bit different, but they do operate in the same manner. So again, I'm opening my on-screen presentation. It's loaded and I'm just gonna make it full screen. You can see when it brings it up like this, there's a couple things that you might wanna note. You can see that I have a menu tab at the side that has the titles of each of my slides. All I have to do to minimize that is click the menu button right here, and it makes my presentation a little bit more full screen. And just notice that I can click next and back down here. It's not the purple arrows, but it is just as effective. And then if there's videos, which some of these programs do have videos, um, I do have a volume button right here 
that I can utilize in addition with whatever technology I am using to show the uh, presentation in the classroom. Once again, escape or the exit full screen button works to get out of the program, and that is it. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to um, the JA South Dakota staff. We are here and we are ready to answer your questions. If you do happen to get a error message on logging in, um, usually it's like an error 400, um, you can go back and either refresh your page or you can um, go back and retype in the URL with it, making sure you use the HTTPS part of the um, URL code. And with that, again, if you have any questions, please reach out.